What's up guys? So today is July 7th, aka 7-11, which means that you get a free slip. So I'm here to collect. Hyped. So after 7-11's generosity, I got inspired to do something and give back to you guys. I made a quick Instagram post where you can submit any question for me. I'm gonna go through them now and pick all the ones that I think are funny or interesting, and I'm gonna give you guys the best explanation I can. And if you guys have any other questions, leave them in this video's comments, and I'll make sure to answer them in the next Q&A. Do you wanna ask some questions? I will take that as a yes. We'll answer the questions. Sit. So this is Sasha. She's gonna be my co-host for today, okay? Evan Billings asks, favorite thing about the OSS guys? There she goes. Well, my favorite thing about the OSS guys is that we're all friends. You know, at the end of the day, you can have an amazing team, but if you guys don't have good chemistry and you guys can't travel together, then what's the point? So Evan Billings asked, why breaks and cassette? No hate, just asking. So I've been riding breaks and cassette for about 15 years now. It's just something I got used to. Um, I don't really like the slack in a free coaster, and I feel like having brakes allows me to have a little more bike control, and I can do more tricks with brakes than I can without. Also, I feel like it now sets me apart. If you see my bike, you see a gyro. It stands out, so kids that know who I am will recognize my bike, as opposed to like 1,300 other pros that are all brakeless. H. Odell asked, how old were you when you started? So I started riding BMX when I was 13, and that was about 16 years ago, so you guys can do the math. Luke Bikes asks, how did you become so beautiful, and where can I find the black cowboy hat? Well, thank you for the compliment. Uh, I would say my mother and my father are very beautiful people, so apparently they made a semi-good looking guy. The black cowboy hat, I actually stole from my brother, and my brother bought it at like a designer store on Melrose in Hollywood, California. Unknown V2 asks, when are you guys going to ride in Fullerton? Shout out to Hentai. So I actually went to Cal State Fullerton for my business degree, and we ride there quite a bit. I can't tell you exactly when we're gonna go because we never really know, but we go ride that campus pretty often. Mac Morgan one asks, Hillary or Trump? Trump. Facu Lopez from Argentina asks, what's your favorite rider? So right now I'd say basically anyone that's on OSS, all those guys are amazing, from obviously Stevie, Mikey Tyra, now Connor Keating, Alex Donaghy, Charlie, Craig, all the dudes are awesome. If I had to pick one guy that I still to this day enjoy watching ride more than anyone else, it'd probably have to be Dennis Anderson, just because he can ride anything and everything and make it look amazing and I don't know, he's just on another level. Fernand Garnica, tips for growing your YouTube channel. Consistency, quality, relatability, fun. I think those are the elements that make for a good video and you keep it consistent so you either do it every day or every other day or once a week whatever your schedule is but you keep it consistent then you start growing some repeat viewers you know someone that's going to consistently come and watch your content and give you feedback also just listening to your audience you know if people are asking for more close-ups and less fisheye then try it out ks446 underscore ask what was your first business when i was 13 my brother and i helped my mom make pizzas and we sold them to churchgoers on sunday my first official business would be when I was 19. My friend Fu from Epic started an eBay account where we sold all sorts of different bike parts and car parts and a bunch of stuff and it took off at the time and we were at one point like Volume BMX's number one distributor for frames and forks. Okay, the Trevor Antelon asked, you ever thought about riding a free coaster and what's your best advice to any up and coming rider? Usually if I'm gonna do something that's pretty crazy going fakey, I just either take off my chain or my sprocket bolt. That's when I used to do fakie front flips and fakie tail ups and stuff. And any advice for any up and coming rider? Honestly, just ride for fun. Ride to make yourself happy. If you do that and you're good at it, then take it somewhere, but get popular or get a paycheck. You're gonna stress yourself out, force things and get hurt. Ride BMX for the experience, for sharing moments with your friends and stuff. Xandrix Ruiz asked, how fun is it to be with the OSS team? What do you do at the OSS store? So I'm gonna answer the second question first. At the OSS store, I am the operations manager and I'm one of the co-owners, making sure that we have 
events going on, uh, basically anything that has to do with the business portion of it. Then we have Nate Richter and Phil Ariano, which are employees, so they basically handle customers and help us with shipping and stuff. But I have no problem rolling up my sleeves, and if I have to work, I'll come in every day. I'll pack the orders, and I'll help every customer. Homie Rob asked, are you sponsored? Does Stevie eat ass? Do you eat ass? So I'm still sponsored by S1 Helmets, Shadow Conspiracy, um, s and was kind enough to give me a frame, and Aqua Hydrate, Come Up, On Some Shit, The Rig. They're all companies that help me make the ends of meat to do what I do every day. And Stevie actually, I believe, licked his first butt a few days ago. So Cole Penris asked, what's your relationship with Shadow Conspiracy? I've known Ron Bonner, which is the owner of Shadow Conspiracy, for quite some time. I met him through the come up. Uh, I handle a lot of the operations for the come up as well. So we service our accounts, which are the BMX companies that advertise on our website. And we've been friends for a long time. And he asked me a long time ago if I needed anything, just to contact him. Um, I'm not on any official team or anything like that, but they always hook me up with bikes and I always come hang out with them whenever they're in town or I go out to visit them. So it's a cool relationship. And that's how most sponsorships happen. It's a relationship you have with either one of the riders, someone that works for the company, or someone that owns a company. And if you guys become friends, then it's better for the relationship than if you're just business associates and they sponsor you and you perform BMX stunts for them. Antonio Contreras asked, how much benching do you do and how much ass do you eat to get your daily protein? I can bench press about 185, 190 pounds. And how much butt do I eat daily? Probably two cheeks a day. Keeps the doctor away. I am Zick asked, who inspired you in riding? Well, early on it was Dave Mira. I saw Dave Mira during the X Games in like 1999 or something, and I saw him do a double backflip, and I thought that was the craziest thing I'd ever seen. So I wanted to try and emulate that. It's been 16 or 17 years later, and I'm still trying to learn new tricks every day. Max J13 asked, where do you stand with bike sponsors? Are you still considered a sponsor rider or more on the business side of BMX? I ride my bike every day, I have fun, I get exposure, and brands still hook me up. So in that sense, I'm still sponsored. Um, I still collect a paycheck from a few brands that um, I ride for, but I would say that 60% of the time it is more business than BMX. What was the first BMX trick you learned and at what age? I was 13, I think I learned like feeble grinds and pickup bar spins. All right, Catrone777 asks, what type of business are you in that afforded you the nice cars and home in LA? Well, a lot of people have been asking, so I guess I'll answer this for everybody. So Adam22, or Adam Grand Mason and I, own The Come Up, which is the number one BMX media website. We own On Some Shit. We co-own On Some Shit LA, which is a store in downtown Los Angeles. I own The Rig, which is the RV and the business that comes with it. And my brother and I co-own European Union, which is an auto repair shop. So in short, I don't have like one job or anything. And if you do the math, you know, five different businesses help you afford more things than just one. Braden Thom asked, how'd you meet Adam22 and get involved with OSS in the come up? So in about 2011, Adam22 had moved to Long Beach and through BMX, he had a BMX website and I'm a BMX rider. We kind of started hanging out through that. We started partying and then one night after some drinks, we decided that we should start working together. And I mean, it's been about five years now and things have been going great. Mig underscore Wolf asked, are you related to Messi? Because you look a lot like him. I'm not related to Messi, I really wish I was, and I actually get that quite a bit, so I consider him a pretty good looking, successful guy. I'll take that. Dooley BMX asked, do you smoke weed? No, I only drink alcohol socially, so, and I try to save it just for the weekends now. Nothing against weed or drugs or anything like that. It's just not for me. I have ADD, I'm OCD, I get in my own head, so, Drugs just don't mesh well with me. Like, I don't have fun. So Trevi Siglox asked, what is your best pull-out method? So I'll let you in on a little secret. Sometimes girls wrap their legs around you and try to prevent you from the pull-out. So I have this move called the Bronco Buster where I just basically break both legs off with this X pattern and escape and then just bust everywhere. So no fucks, Gavin asked, Thoughts on dailing nice cars in LA? Well, as you can imagine, LA is a pretty transited area, so a lot of the roads are bumpy and destroyed. So if you have a lowered car or anything with like a really stiff suspension, it's gonna hurt. Not just your back, but your wallet. So I would recommend having a daily driver that's kind of cheap and that you don't care about. And if you're gonna have a nice luxury automobile, save it for the weekend. Terry rides bikes 15. Any more tats in the future? 
Yeah, so I got this spot back here that I needed to go and get done, but I just haven't had a lot of time, and sometimes being in there for six or eight hours and being in quite some pain isn't something you want to do every weekend, so soon, not sure exactly what I'm getting, but by the end of this year for sure. What exactly do you do business-wise? Like, how are you making a living from Cole Biker? Well, again, I own a lot of the brands that you guys are into, come up, want some shit, et cetera, et cetera. So with ownership, you know, we get to see the growth of the brand and obviously if it does well, it could be a profit and then it gets split amongst the owners. Timothy Daily Wag asks, how do you get your own private time? I mean, with all the vlog and business stuff, how do you manage your time? The most important part for any business, vlogging, or anything you do in life is organization. If you can create a good calendar and schedule things you're gonna do, and set up reminders on your phone, it's gonna help you be more successful. I constantly have a ton of things to do, but as long as I schedule it properly and I make notes and I have reminders, like I said, it helps me organize not just my life, but my brain. As far as like downtime, the best part about BMX and being with OSS and all this stuff is that my friends and fun and BMX are all one and the same. So we get to go ride and have fun, then we go out and celebrate and we have fun. And then I handle business that helps us all make ends meet and that's fun to me as well. Anthony Giansante asks, has BMX made or shaped you in the person you are today with your success? 100%. BMX has been the thing that has introduced me to a lot of my friends, a lot of the girls I've dated, um, a lot of the businesses that I've started. Honestly, the majority of the businesses that I've started or helped with, it's helped me because you look at everything in a different light. Like when you're driving or walking down the street and you look at a spot, a person might just see three steps, but you might see a hot bar or a bump jump or a plethora of different things. So I use that same outlook in business or other aspects of my life that help me have an advantage on other people that I'm competing with when it comes to business or anything of that sort. Aaron Ellis 15, what is it like riding where you are and what are the arms of shake guys like and what is your favorite rail grind? So number one, my favorite rail grind is a crank arm right now, followed by ice pick grinds. What is it like riding with the awesome shit crew? Amazing. Every day is fun. We have a blast. They kill it. I try and, and keep up with them, which is very difficult, but you know, I can still kind of hang. What is it like riding in LA? We have some of the best street on earth. We have some of the best weather, the best chicks. So I would say a 10 out of 10. Hayden Kelly asks, when do you think you were in your prime? I think I'm always in my prime. You know, like you're always evolving, you're always changing, and you're always trying new things but I would say if I had to pick an age where I think like my body responded the best probably like 23 through 25 so aloe vera pappy asked how do you feel about Lakewood I know you live near me but how do you feel about the city itself with the grumpy old people that will call the cops for anything so I've been in Lakewood since I was about 15 Bo! so little fact Lakewood was voted the number one most boring town in all of America so you can imagine it's not exactly the place to be but if you're trying to relax and get away from all the craziness of downtown Los Angeles and Hollywood, then it's ideal. What's up, Sasha? She's an inquisitive one. Adam Zacharias, do you smoke weed? You always see the OSS guys choking webisodes whenever you. Love your channel, by the way. Thank you. Um, no, and it's nothing against weed again. Um, just not for me. I've had asthma when I was a little kid, so I just never caught on to the whole smoking vibe. And to be honest, they all really look like they're going to fall asleep when they get high and I'm a very energetic person so that's not exactly something that you know I'm turned on to. Kevin Ratter 7 asked, who do you look up to? Well, I look up to my friends. Anyone that continues to live out their dream and doesn't follow the normal path in life is someone that inspires me. But if I had to say you know, well-known figures then Steve Jobs comes to mind because you know he created a company that revolutionized the world. He was always ahead of the game and his products and just his personality, everything about it, something that he strived for perfection. Nick400 asks, what kind of frame do you have? I'm currently on the s and Whammo. Dave Cub asks, what high school did you go to? I went to Lakewood High. John Cray 63 asked, what made you start vlogs? Well, I've always had Instagram, Snapchat, and Vine, and all the other apps that you know, focus on video. And I've always liked making videos that are funny or interesting. So John Hicks one day was like, hey man, you should start a YouTube. And I thought about it, and then when I went to VidCon, and I saw so many people like have a positive reaction towards the videos I was in with Adam LZ, I decided to give it a go, and literally two weeks later, I'm here, and it's been pretty awesome. I can't thank you guys enough for watching all my videos and subscribing to my channel. William Schneider asked, can you film a bike check with Brandon Began? Well, that little dirt ball is on the East Coast right now, but as soon as he gets back, I'm sure he's gonna be 
do for a new bike because I saw that he spray painted his all different colors and stuff. So as soon as he gets back, I'm down to do a bike check with him. Why does Began have his own room in the OSS house? That's a good question. No, I'm just kidding. So he got the smallest room and putting an extra bed in there would have been kind of like a squeeze. So we decided that the bigger room should go to where more people are gonna stay. So, you know, Stevie, Tyra, myself, and Dylan Lloyd kind of like rotate the big room. Then Brandon gets his room, but we all travel quite a bit. And, you know, like as long as you change the sheets, then we can all sleep wherever. TMBMX asked, what was it like to ride with Adam LZ? I've known Adam for quite some time, so it's always fun to ride with him, but we get along really well outside of BMX and we always talk business, so it's just cool to always be able to hang out with him. Ty Jalot asked, favorite cars, dream car? So if I had to pick my dream car ever, it's a Lamborghini. Um, I really like the new Centenario. So I can't remember the person or the video it was in, but I saw one of the comments um, on my notifications and it was from a YouTube video where someone asked, what is it like to be successful and can I give any input on that? Well, success is relative to everybody. You know, you don't have to be wealthy or own businesses or have a lot of possessions to be successful. It's something that makes you happy. So if you have a career that is fulfilling, that's success. But if you mean success in the monetary form, then true success comes with hard work. So you're gonna have to sacrifice a lot. Nights, weekends, parties, relationships, a lot of those things get put on the back burner because you have to really focus on whatever it is that you're trying to get out there. You gotta think that there's seven billion people on earth and they all have similar ideas to yours. So what's gonna make you stand out? Most likely it's gonna be your work ethic and your drive. So if you have ambition for something, go out and get it. Don't just sit there and wait for it to come to your lap. You have to make it happen each and every day. All right, well, I gotta get back to work. So I wanna say thank you to everybody that submitted a question. I wanna thank all you guys that are watching this, especially the ones that are subscribed. And I wanna say that we have a lot to do this week. I'm thinking about meeting up with Mikey Tara tomorrow or Wednesday to build up his new bike. And I think Adam22 and I are gonna play a game of bike. So this week should be pretty fun. So stay tuned and until next time, ciao.